<laughs> you look so small right now. Right? Chester looks so big. Here? Ferris, come on, boy. Come on. Here. Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the vlog from somewhere in Florida. I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm not even sure where I'm at, but I do know one thing, that I hope that your day starts out amazing, and I think it's gonna be a great day, because we are heading to Gatorland. I think it's about a two-hour drive. It's gonna be absolutely incredible. Meeting up with my friend Savannah that works there, and we're gonna get some great access. I love parks like Gatorland, so it's gonna be absolutely incredible. Do me a favor and comment down below, and let me know how your day has started. Let's take the next 12 or 15 minutes and set our problems aside have an amazing time. Let's get on the road and head to Gatorland. All right, guys, so I could not be more excited. I am at Gatorland. And I get to walk through this big gator. I've only been here once before. My good friend Savannah works here, so I love it. So when she invited me back, I'm like, yes, I'm coming. Let's go through the arch. <laughs> this is gonna be absolutely epic. And of course, this is my friend Hi. Savannah. You may recognize her from Instagram. I will put the link in the description. She also is out at the Reptile Zoo in California, of course, with my buddy Jay. What exactly do you do here? Crocodile enrichment. So I find games and activities and fun things for crocodiles and alligators to do all day long. So every day is the most fun ever. And this is Gatorland, guys. I mean, this place is freaking awesome. I mean, if you're into crocodilians and all kinds of other really cool animals, this is the place to come. What are you gonna show me today? I'm gonna show you everything. First, we should go look at this main island where all these big alligators are right here. Look at how big these are, guys. Holy cow. <laughs> Those are some big alligators right there. Gatorland has over 2,500 alligators and crocodiles. What? 2,500 <laughs> alligators and crocodiles. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, yeah, guys. Nice. Look at these. Look at the little babies. <laughs> these are so cute. I want to go in there and just hug them all. Oh my god. <laughs> how cute they are guys. We do let people feed these with like a little fishing pole and some oh. fish on it. Oh and my gosh. Come feed a bunch of these guys. Oh my gosh, fishing for alligators. Oh. Hey buddies. Hey buddies. I don't think they're very hungry today. <laughs> you know, I have the coolest friends on the planet because Savannah and my boy here are letting me go inside with the white gator. Well, let me just tell you this. Michael, their daddy. Michael's so, their daddy. whatever Michael tells them is what they do, and whatever Michael is here, it completely changes everything. Oh, I mean, yeah. they like me, but they love him. Yeah. 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 Yo, I'll grab you one of the sticks. She used to charge. She was real food motivated, as we call it. Every time the door opened, food was coming in or they were cleaning, so it was really bad. So I had to get her to his, you can't have her charge it out and then no, bring no. people in. So I got her to stay in the water and I'm gonna get her to swim down there and come up and hold a position and hold, and then we're gonna throw her meat right by her face. Pearl, come here. Pearl. Pearl. Come on, Pearl. Pearl, let's go. Come on, Pearl. Pearl, here. Pearl, here. Pearl, here. And you can see what Mike's doing too. Pearl. He's making the noise. Here. And that noise is a trigger for the alligator. Pearl. Pearl. Oh my gosh. Here. Hold. Hold. There you go, Pearl. Good Pearl. job, Pearl. <laughs> <laughs> wow. The second one always works better. So she'll hold and she'll come up. Pearl. 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 There you go, Pearl. Pearl. Two for Got double, Pearl. Okay. Even though she is pretty well behaved, she can get a little on the feisty side. Pearl, Pearl, come here. Can we smile? Can we smile? Can we smile? Pearl, Pearl. She's got about 1,400 pounds per square inch and a bite at this size. And you wouldn't want to give a bite anything this big. This is it big enough to like take off an arm, do yeah. serious damage. Yeah. And she weighs a lot, so she's pretty yeah. heavy at this size. Well, that's the thing. I mean, people don't realize that an animal that size, you think you could just jump on her. She has got so much power. Well, their, their muscles are five times denser than ours. So yeah. by design, they're like five times stronger than a human at the, with the same muscle. They're packed full of muscle and they got zero fat. So that makes them super, super strong. I always talk about target training, you know, and, and it's really about stimulus response, right? Because alligators can be trained because they they like to eat. So how long did it take you to get Pearl to where she, she was so well behaved? So when we moved her in here and we put the white gator display, um, we wanted to bring people in with her and she got that food response like, oh my gosh, the door's open, I gotta go there and feed. 
So I was like, this is horrible. So we had to just train her to go to a certain spot in a condition and start over again. So now, as part of Pearl's work we're doing with Pearl, Michael gets to take Pearl out on walks, and it's amazing. Think about that, guys. Make sure you come to Gatorland because you may see these guys walking Pearl around. How <laughs> freaking awesome is this? It's like this soft spot, spot in my heart for these food-motivated alligators, you know? And part of his routine is I'm gonna get him in the water first. It's my favorite trick to teach him because then that means he's gonna leave you alone and you can actually start the session. Uh, so we're getting in the water. Hey, Pharaohs, I'm here. I know, pal. All right, can you go in the water? To the water? All the way in the water. Come on, pal. To the water. There we go. Keep going. Very good. Here. Good boy. Here. I didn't throw anything yet. Pharaohs. Here. Here. Ferris, come on, boy. Come on. Here. Come on. Come on, pal. Ferris, come on up. This way. Hey. Come here. Come on, pal. All right, ready? I'm going to get him to stand up. Ready? Open up. Ferris, up. There we go. All the way up. Lift your head up. Up and hold. You did a good job. I'll give you a piece. <laughs> How freaking awesome is that, man? Ferris is awesome. And hold. That's a good 10 seconds. Good, good job, job, boy. Arrows. Here. 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 Open. Open. Hi, Carol. Alligator. <laughs> All right, guys, so what we're doing now is going in with Chester. Chester is a big wild alligator. This alligator was actually pretty famous because he was eating local dogs, believe it or not, and he was actually going to be euthanized, and Gatorland got the very first permits to have a wild on exhibit alligator and brought Chester in 2002, and Chester has been ever since. Look at this piece. Holy morning. So Brian, we're gonna have you come around this way. Absolutely, on top of him, right? You yeah, you're gonna be on top. Are you gonna hold that? All right. Chester! Can we smile, Chester? Smile! Chester. Chester, big boy! Look at this guy. Chester, can we smile? Chester, smile! That was a That's good what pop. I was waiting yeah. for. Yeah, you love that pop, man. It's so when awesome. When he slams his jaw shut, it's about 2,000 pounds per square inch. Chester, smile, big boy, Chester. Chester, smile. Chester. Yeah. <laughs> that never gets old. That is so awesome. Chester. Chester. Oh, yeah. you could feel that in the ground. You could feel <laughs> that. Awesome. Boom. Chester, 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 smile. Yeah. Woo. Woo. <laughs> Chester is pretty freaking amazing. <laughs> you look so small right now. Right? Chester looks so big. All right, guys, I love running into people, and here at Gatorland, I ran into these awesome people, and you guys have a YouTube channel, your Powerhouse Reptiles. Powerhouse Reptiles. Mad Bio Reptiles. Mad Bio Reptiles. And we're together, Powerhouse Reptiles. Right, Powerhouse Reptiles. So go ahead and show these guys some love, please. Tell them that Brian sent you. Savannah, where are we going now? Okay, so this island is called the South Island. This, this is, is where all the big alligators hang out. Be careful of the bird poop, because they like to hang out here, too. Look at the size of these alligators. Oh, my gosh. Hey, Lyle's up. Oh, the Nile? Nile. So the Nile crocodile is up right now. Oh, look at him over there. He's big. Oh my gosh, he's a beast. And of course, you know, alligators and crocodiles of sorts, you know, they're really defensive animals in the sense that they want to be left alone. So as soon as we come up, you can see the alligator starting to just kind of scatter into the water. If we got too close to Lyle, he's going to explode into the water. He's not going to come at us. That's just not the way they typically work. But, oh my gosh, look at him. You can see his eyeballs just focused right on us. I mean, the pupil is right at us. I'm going to be honest with you. I never thought I was going to be able to get this close. I mean, look at 
could, I mean, uh, just a couple feet away and I could touch him. He probably realizes that, you know, there's enough space where he's gonna say, I don't wanna really move, but if you get much closer, he's gonna go that way or he's gonna come this way. Most likely go into the water, but I'm just gonna go ahead and let him be. I don't want him to have to go in the water if he doesn't want to. So uh, I'm just gonna kind of enjoy him right now. If you look up balls of steel in the dictionary, this is what you see right here. Right? Good. <laughs> oh my gosh, see, I'm protected by this pole right here, uh, not so much over here. But I'm faster than Savannah. <laughs> yeah, you just have to get that up. That is true. <laughs> as long as you knock me down, you're good. Who's a good boy? Come on. Daytona! Come here! Come on, buddy! That one right there, his name's Yellow. That one right there is one to watch out for. Don't put your camera near because he will get it. Yellow? Good boy. Uh-uh, no jumping. I said no jumping. He he didn't listen to you. Big Daytona, come here, buddy. Uh-uh. No Daytona, no. No jumping, no jumping. One of the little ones back there is named Pepper. And then over here, look right here. That's my May. She's a big Cuban crocodile. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's the one that you said jumps off there sometimes. Yeah, she jumps off the rock sometimes. So my May is a very mild-mannered Cuban crocodile. Which is rare. Yes, it's very rare, and that's why she gets to live in here and enjoy the company of these alligators. Look at Yellow. He's sitting at attention. He's a really, really good one. And my May will just storm across the top of all of them. <laughs> I mean, this is, it's really kind of surreal if you think about it, that you just like walk in and every single <laughs> alligator in the enclosure just comes over. Mommy, I mean, man, it's like, it's almost like Savannah is teaching a class, a crocodile it class. It is. It definitely is. See, you have taught him to not jump again. Don't and jump again, And he's doing yellow. very good. My man is big girl. Oh, there's the big Cuban. And she rules in here. She is the boss. Now, while she is mild-mannered, I have seen little alligators steal her food and her make every single alligator get out of the water oh until God. she finds the one that stole her food oh my and God. lets him know that that's not okay. Yeah, and for those of you guys that don't know, Cuban crocodiles are a smaller crocodile species. They only typically get, you know, eight to 10 foot, maybe a little bit bigger on very rare occasion, but they're also known as probably the most agile and athletic crocodile on the planet. So they're extremely fast. These guys can jump several feet in the air. Definitely are scary. If you ask any like crocodile keeper, they will always say the scariest crocodile to work with is a Cuban croc. So it's pretty awesome that uh, they have this in here and she's so mild mannered, but obviously she definitely is the boss of this place. You know, as I walk through places like this, sometimes I think like, how have I become so blessed to have such great friends and so many connections to be able to do things that are so amazing like this. Uh, I could spend every day of my life like this. We're actually gonna come back to Gator land because we have a couple YouTube friends, James from the fam and Omar Gosh, that are gonna come here and we're gonna do some collab videos at Gatorland at night. The thing that's interesting is way up there is zip lines. Now, one thing you guys may not know about me is that I will play with every deadly animal on the planet with no fear, but I literally cry like a baby when I get on spinning apples at the carnival. I hate rides, I do not do them well, and they're trying to get me to go on the zip line. So let me know in the comments if you can give me some inspiration. Should I do the zip line at night, by the way, uh, with the park closed. Uh, we're gonna have a great time. For you guys that follow the fam or Omar Gosh, please watch that video. It's gonna be really fun. So we're gonna be back here. We're gonna do some cool crocodile feedings and some other things that are gonna be really cool. But regardless, I just think it's absolutely amazing that I get to have these adventures. And I hope that you guys like that I try to bring you guys along so you can feel what it's like. It is absolutely incredible. And I'm gonna be honest with you, it'll never get old. It's just absolutely crazy. Oh my gosh, this place is so cool. If you're ever in the Orlando area, you gotta come visit Gator Land. All right, guys, so I have had just an absolutely incredible day, but I am gonna end the vlog here. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this. I tell you what, I could do this every day of my life. I do miss my animals, I miss my crew, and of course I miss my family, but I'm having the time of my life, and hopefully Lori is gonna be down here in a couple days. I don't know yet, we're trying to work it out. I wanna take her and go play with some animals. I'll talk about that in the next couple days regardless. I hope you guys have an absolutely amazing day. Thank you so much for tuning in. All your support means the world to me, and I love you guys to death. Can you do me a couple favors, please? Can you smash that like button and make sure to turn those post notifications on so you know when I upload a video, which is every day, seven days a week at nine o'clock in the morning, Eastern Standard Time. Remember to be kind to somebody, and I promise I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow.